So now we're done with image C, and now we're going to move on to image D. So in image D, you're going to take this long axle, and you're going to put it through the end hole of this long rod. And then on the other side, you're going to add a washer, an axle lock, and the other medium pulley with the other medium tire ring around it. Then you're going to take a small frame and making sure that these pieces are on the left side, you're going to stick four anchor pins into it, one in the third hole from the end on the top and another one in the second hole from this end on the top. And you're going to mirror that on this side. So you have these two that are in the third hole and these two that are in the second hole. So now we have image D and now we're ready to move on to image E. And in image E, we're going to stick this small frame onto this setup. You're going to stick these anchor pins into holes in these long rods so that these edges line up. Let's stick this on here. And then we're going to take a long axle and a tire and we're going to stick the long axle into the tire with the axle lock on the bottom. And we're going to get a small yellow gear. So now we're moving on to image F. And in image F, you're going to take this long axle and you're going to run it through the first hole in this, in this long rod on the bottom here, like this. And then you're going to stick this small yellow gear onto the axle. And then you're going to need another of these wheels and a large yellow gear. So now we're moving on to image G. And in image G, you're going to start by sticking this large yellow gear onto this axle right here, the second one from the left, so that it meshes with this small yellow gear. And then on this long axle, you're going to stick this big wheel. And now we're going to move on to image H. And for image H, we're going to need some cutouts from our die cut sheet. We're going to need this dragster cutout, so just get it out of your die cut sheet. Being careful not to rip it because it has a very nicely designed and intricate shape. All right, and once you have the dragster, you can cut out the little pieces that are still in here. Again, being careful not to rip it. And then we're also going to cut out this red piece right here. All right, so now we have our two cutouts, and now we have to add them to the vehicle. So let's start with this blue one. First, fold it at the creases that it has. And you can look in image H to see how all the creases fold. All right, then you're going to stick it on and you're going to use a whole bunch of shaft plugs to secure it. So first we're going to stick the front onto this joint pin right here in the front. And then we're going to use shaft plugs to stick the other holes. They should be well aligned with holes that are on the setup. So this hole fits with the hole in the long rod. This hole fits with another hole. You should be able to find them pretty easily. And on this side, this hole aligns right here. And this top part, you can fold these flaps down here, like this, onto the small frame, and then stick shaft plugs in the holes. These two flaps will overlap for one hole. So the top looks like that. So now that all the shaft plugs are connecting this car body to the car, we are done with image H and we can move on to image I. And in image I, you're going to take this last cutout and you're going to fold it at the creases and you're actually going to fold it in on itself so that you have a nice edge like this and you're going to need some tape or some glue, whatever you prefer, to tape it down. 
so that you have this kind of a shape. And then it looks like this on the back. And then, in order to stick it onto the car, you're also actually going to need to use some glue or tape to stick these two flaps together. So I'm gonna use some tape right here so that it looks like this. And then, once again, in order to stick this on, just use a little glue or tape. All right. So now we're done with workshop M and we've built the dragster. And now we can move on to experiment 12, starting the dragster. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn this yellow gear upwards or you can turn this big wheel downwards. What you want to do is wrap this elastic cord around this axle right here. So you're winding up the dragster. And you can see how the elastic cord is getting more and more taut. So after it's wrapped around that medium axle a few times, you can stick your dragster on the ground and see how far it'll go. All right, let's give it a little more room this time. 